Welcome to Cooking with Caribbean Fusion Sauces and Spices. And today we're going to be showcasing our pumpkin stew using two of our favorite products from the line. We're going to be using the Spice It Right all-purpose seasoning. And what I love about this seasoning is it has a Caribbean flair with our own specialty blend that is intentionally created to give you that gourmet taste while keeping it extremely low in sodium, just a hint of Himalayan sea salt. It's not your ordinary, um, it's not your ordinary all-purpose seasoning that you're gonna find in the supermarket. These are carefully selected herbs that and spices that we put together and keeping it simple. We're all about making it simple in a time when everyone is trying to eat healthy, everyone is trying to make sure everything they put in their body is of some value, but giving you that bounty flavor that you're looking for. In other words, spice it right, all-purpose seasoning from Caribbean Fusion is all about vibesing it up in the kitchen and keeping it simple. And then we're gonna team it with our tamarind chutney cooking pepper sauce. Now this is a simmering pepper sauce, but it's so versatile. If we, it goes well, if you're steaming your fish, you're steaming your vegetables, it has that scotch bonnet and country pepper clashing with some jalapeno and that tamarind chutney that's going on in the background. The blend is very complex, but the flavor that it gives is so great. I like to use it as a condiment sometimes. I'll mix it with a little bit of mayonnaise. And um, if you're making a sandwich, whether it's a vegetarian sandwich or a meat sandwich, all our products are vegetarian friendly. There's no uh, animal products, there's no wheat, no gluten, no peanuts, no soy, no wheat in our products. So we're keeping it friendly, but today we're on the vegan end of things, the vegetarian end of things, and we're going to keep this really nice and simple and sweet. So what do we have here for ingredients in making this pumpkin stew? We got some, you can use a pumpkin of any kind. What we have here is a summer squash, a winter squash I should say. Right, but you can use any variety, any kind of kabaza pumpkin. We got our string beans over here, right? And we have some onions that's diced, one tomato that's diced. This is a small onion, and then we got some sweet peppers that's mixed, that's julienne. We got our cup of coconut milk, and we got our pre-measured spicy right all-purpose seasoning. See that, guys? And because it's the only, it's the guest of honor for this dish, we're going to be using a tablespoon and a half. So we're going to use ample of this ingredient. And again, remember, everything is low sodium. We'll add a little bit of sea salt at the end just because I like it at a certain level. But it's very low sodium for those who are watching their salt or no salt. It's so low. You really literally need to add your salt to your own taste. So we're going to get it started. And we're going to turn our stove to a medium high, right? And then we're going to be adding some olive oil to the pot just a little to get our saute going on. We're just going to add some olive oil and then So we're going to start by just sauteing a little bit of onions along with just a little bit of sweet peppers. So we have some of the sweet peppers that are julienne and some that are um, just cubed and we're going to saute along that with the onion. Give this a nice little stir. Lower the heat a little bit. We keep it more on the lower side until we get the onions a little bit caramelized. Put a little bit more oil. Again, Caribbean Fusion, just to tell you a little bit about the history of Caribbean Fusion. Caribbean Fusion was really created out of creativity 
and it's one of those gifts from God that you just have to utilize and just have to give back to the world, share your talent with the world. And it's all about healthy eating. You know, some of the ingredients in our products, we're not stamping them organic, but some of the ingredients are, are organic in the products. So we really look for like the high quality seasoning, you know, um, to really, really fuse really well to give you that flavor that you're looking for. So we have this, and we sauteing this for about two to three minutes. Just to get it caramelized a little bit. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna be adding our pumpkin. And this is one of those quick vegetarian dishes. We're gonna add our string beans. Keeping it really simple, guys. We're gonna add our julienne sea peppers. I guess we're gonna put the flame up a little bit higher now, so we got a kind of like a medium heat going on right now. And we're gonna add our chopped tomatoes. Maybe just them a little bit closer. All right. We're going to give it a nice stir. So back to the Caribbean season sauces and spices. So we have a variety of products that's out there. We have a fusion jerk that is like beyond awesome. And we're going to be doing that in a in the next video but for today it's all about this pumpkin stew and again our style of uh, seasoning sauces has a lot to do with the caribbean flair but we look at world spices we look at you know what really pops and we come with our own blend and we do a fusion hence caribbean fusion Now we're going to cover this for just a minute. Just to get the juices going. You notice we haven't added any spices to it as yet. And again, uh, you know, the tamarind shot, the spice it right, all purpose seasoning is what we're doing right here um, in this particular dish. And it's the guest of honor. So we're going to be simmering this we're going to add our tablespoon and a half of the spicy right give it a nice stir we're going to have that cooking a little bit before we add our coconut milk and add our tamarind chutney now the tamarind chutney cooking pepper sauce again we're talking about you know country pepper scotch bonnets fused with or jalapeno and again if you're not into spices you're not into heat you just need to add a table a teaspoon or two just for flavoring it's really a flavored cooking simmering pepper sauce but the body of it is so complex it's so complex in terms of the ingredients that's in there if you can see it it's so complex that the flavor it gives is actually one of our specialty sellers at our um at our shows when we do our shows but it's really lovely you know, I like a little bit of heat, so I'll take it. You could take it and put it on top of your chicken, just like a, a just putting some pepper sauce on top of your chicken. But it marinates and cooks so well in your rice, your quinoa, your vegetables, your stews. You're gonna love it. It's really a fused uh, blend of just the best spices, giving you a very distinctive, very distinctive flavor, guys. So let's see what it's doing. So we're gonna just again have this simmer we don't want it to stick but the natural juices from it smells good and the spices haven't even hit the um hit the side of it right all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add for pre-measured all purpose seasoning and you know feel free to add a little more again this is not something that's loaded with a lot of salt 
Let's give it a spin before we add the rest. It's not loaded with a lot of salt, so indeed you will need to add your own salt to taste your own salt level. We're going to give it a nice little spin. Our pumpkin stew is coming along. And again, we pre-measured a tablespoon and a half because it is the guest of honor. It's the vibes it up in this dish. We're putting the vibes in it. about a dish like this it's so quick you can team this up with your rice and peas you can team it up with your quinoa you can team it up with your your tubers the piece of yam so we're gonna cover this and let this seasoning just get into that stew before we add or coconut milk let's just show you how pretty this is can you see that can you hear that see that simmer see that color that's what the body needs lots of color So we're going to add some coconut milk to the mixture, about a cup, All right. our coconut milk. I am going to add, because the salt is so low in this, in the spicy rice also for seasoning, I am going to add about a, I'm going to say a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. I like to have a little extra, but for those who are watching the zero salt, you don't need to add any additional salt. You can just roll with the punches, and again, everything you need is in the jar. So we're going to turn that a little bit. I don't want too much water in it because the string bean, everything has its own fluid that springs off. So we can just add a tip of water, like a quarter cup of water to our mixture. And we're just going to let that simmer down. And it just vibes it up. And about a quarter cup. Turn. I'm going to add the tamarind chutney at the end. So let's cover that up. And we're going to put the heat up to at least medium if I try. We're going to put the heat to about medium and we just going to have that simmer for another five minutes. Before we add the tamarind chutney, and again, let's talk about Caribbean fusion. Caribbean fusion is about we're born on our creativity, it's born, it's a gift from God, and I'm just sharing it with the rest of the world. And I carefully select the seasoning that I blend. Can't wait for you guys to try my 
spice it, my uh, spiced fish fry. So great on fish, it's great on seafood. There's lots of products that's coming down the line. And again, and my fused jerk. My fused jerk is something that you've never tasted before. Again, it takes from the Caribbean and then it fuses it with spices. Like when you do your grilling or you do it in your oven, you're gonna be like, okay, what is this I taste? It's just something that you've never tasted. I don't keep it overly, overly hot. It comes in a hot mild, but it's more about the flavor and it's more about the fusion. And so more about like really, really, really enjoying it and so on. So we have quite a bit of products. They're going to be on Amazon. They're going to be on the website and stay tuned. There's just a lot more coming from Caribbean fusion sauces and spices. So we're making it available to you. And you know, again, keep in mind, these products are not the products you buy which you're basically buying salt and MSG. More the sodium glutamate. This is the product in which you're paying for your herbs. It's a gourmet blend. And you should expect just that. Again, so let's see what's going on with this. We're turning up the heat a little bit more. It's going on and it's like getting fierce. Gotta take a look at that steam. Look at that, baby. Look at that. And our coconut milk is just simmering in there beautiful what we added we just added this, a cup of coconut milk a quarter cup of water we didn't add our tamarind chutney yet we're gonna have our tamarind chutney simmering cooking pepper sauce and we got a tablespoon and a half of the spice it right all-purpose seasoning Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, people. Subscribe. Share your fusion moments with me. All right, so we got some tamarind chutney that we're going to be putting in, and I'm thinking that you know I want a little heat, I want a little spice in my life today. And I'm thinking, you know, that I may just want. Well, I'm going to keep it at a tablespoon and a half. The body of this one is so interesting. I mean, it's fueled so well. I want to make sure we get that in there. Can handle two tablespoons. And we're just going to be doing it for flavor. Let's look at that. Got steam coming up there. Hey guys, this is your pumpkin fuel, baby. I'm going to cover that. Don't you just love dishes that you can whip up? In less than in less than three minutes. Like who has the time? Who has the time anymore? And so that's what we're about. We keep we're keeping these these uh, gourmet line of products just to the point. What you need, good for your body. A lot of times you find you know products you find things like organic rosemary and you'll find things like organic cure even some of the cayenne peppers we have a dry jerk and so a dry jerk rub so we carefully select our ingredients making sure that you have exactly what you need with no fuss and so on and just getting that flavor into into the dishes and we're not going to be we're not going to be complicated about it we do all the work for you so you can sit back and you can enjoy so we're going to give that pumpkin stew another five or so minutes medium heat and then we will serve And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You're going to be cooking along with Caribbean.
have any children, so I'm going to start this. And we love having them here today. So while that's cooking, let's talk a little bit more about the fusion line here. some ginger in here we got some turmeric in here we got our own specialty blend in here there's a lot going on we got some parsley in here and there's so much going on in the spicy right it will say sometimes just spices because we have our own specialty blend and our own flavoring that we add that excellence again we vibed it up in the kitchen today and we're just about ready to serve our pumpkin stew Type of stuff you need to get close up. See all this. This one is um, all this gravy. Making sure that there's no sticking, I can smell that coconut milk. And again, you can add more spicy right to it. You could taste your um, taste your that grape in there that's building. And see if you want to add a little bit more. Why don't we just do that a little bit more salt to it? We can do so. See what's happening back here. Mm. Mm. The coconut milk came into really nice. For me personally, I would want to add a little bit more, um, just because I want a little bit more heat. So for me personally, I'm going to add me a little bit more of the tamarind cooking pepper sauce. So for this dish, it ended up being like two tablespoons. Like that. And you can get really creative with this dish. You feel like you want to add um, maybe some Irish potatoes? Go ahead. Just cube it really small because we're trying to keep this cooking really simple. Quick and to the point. You may want to make it a one pot cooking. A one pot cooking means that's what's going to be it. You're not going to be eating no rice. So you could add some Irish potatoes to it. Just cube it really nicely. And that's it. Guys. We're going to turn that heat off. Our dish is done. If you like our dishes, don't be afraid to subscribe, comment. I'm showing you the finished product right here. We got our pumpkin stew. So 
shout out to all the vegans and the vegetarians and the and the you know what I'm just not having meat today, right? Thank you for tuning in with Caribbean Fusion, cooking with Caribbean Fusion sauces and spices. It was lovely having you here. So vibes it up the next time with one of our great, authentic, original, and just delicious gourmet spices and sauces.